What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the Incase EO Travel Backpack. So of course, without further ado, let's check out this tech-oriented backpack, see what's so special about it, and give you guys my quick in-depth review. The travel backpack from Incase is part of Incase's EO travel collection, consisting of rollers, backpacks, and duffel bags. This tech-oriented travel backpack is definitely a great choice for those who want to carry your MacBook and accessories that are associated with it along with your travel needs. The backpack is designed for two days of travel, but definitely could be expanded more especially if you carry a roller bag along with you. It also complies with most international airline carry-on size requirements when it's unexpanded. The exterior of the bag is made of a durable 900D poly cotton material. In addition to a weather-resistant triple-coated front panel, the bag itself is a rectangular shape giving you maximum luggage capacity. Flanking both the left and right side of the bag are compression straps designed to secure and stabilize contents. The top of the bag has a mesh padded carrying handle. On the right side of the bag here we do have a secondary horizontal carrying handle in addition to compression straps which can be released in order to open the bag. All compartments are secured with durable YKK zippers with custom in-case embossed poles. On the back here we do have two shoulder straps which are mesh padded with heather material on the exterior in addition to sternum straps and of course they are adjustable. And lastly the back also features two large mesh panels which are soft to the touch and increase comfort as well as breathability on the back. Alright so next we're going to check out the compartments on this bag starting off with the front here. We do have what I like to call a quick grab pocket so it's a great spot for throwing in your passport, wallet, something that you just want to quickly access without opening the entire bag. Next on the front we do have an accessory compartment great for storing all your tech accessories. There's also enough room for a notebook I threw in a small binder in here. We do have four main pockets, two mesh pockets on the bottom, two nylon pockets on the top, two pen holders as well, in addition to two more larger nylon pockets on the other side here. I threw in my external hard drive which is already in another sleeve, a couple pens, my magic mouse, as well as my MacBook charger, and external battery pack. Underneath the handle here we do also have a dedicated smartphone pocket which is full for a line, very soft, great to store your smartphone like an iPhone or an Android device. On the back side here we do have your laptop compartment which I believe holds up to a 17 inch MacBook Pro. This compartment is separate from the compression straps so you don't have to always undo those. There's also a secondary sleeve in here for a tablet. As you guys can see I have my 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro here. The entire bag or sleeve here sorry is full for a line so it's very soft, very well padded to keep your MacBook safe. And there's also a Velcro strap on the top here to even keep it more secure. Lastly of course we have the most highlighted feature of this bag and that is the main luggage compartment. So on the top here we do have a secondary mesh pocket, great for storing toothbrush, toothpaste, just small items like that when you keep away from your clothing. And then of course we have the main compartment here which does have a zippered mesh panel to help keep everything in place. So I just threw in a couple pants, some shorts in here, just to give you guys an idea of how much you can fit. One of the cool features about this bag is that if that's not enough room or if you're traveling and you plan on bringing yourself back, the bag itself does expand pretty much doubling the size of the luggage compartment. So you guys you can kind of compare from before, I have significantly more room to hold more stuff now. And here's another quick look at the outside of the backpack when it's fully expanded. You can see that the compression straps on both the left and right side are adjustable to that size as well. So here's a quick look at what the backpack looks like on myself and actually doesn't look too bad for a travel backpack. It's definitely very tech oriented but it's nothing too flashy either. In terms of fit and feel, the backpack is actually pretty comfortable to wear. For those of you who remember those two large mesh panels that I showed you guys earlier, they really do help release some of that pressure of the weight off your back. Here's another video clip of the backpack when it's unexpanded and as you guys can see it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference in terms of the aesthetics but nonetheless still a nice feature to have if you need the extra space, unzip it. If you don't, then zip it back up. Overall guys, the first impressions on the Incase EO Travel Backpack is pretty positive. It offers a generous capacity for a travel backpack of this size and the expanded feature is definitely a nice bonus. One of the major problems with many major manufacturers of luggage stuff like Samsung who makes excellent rollers and bags is that they're not really tech oriented or even laptop oriented. There's no place to really put your laptop that's ideal and protected nor your tech accessories that might be associated with it. Incase is definitely one of the first out there to develop travel bags from rollers to duffel bags in the backpack here that have tech-oriented compartments as well as a sleeve for your computer. 
Organization is definitely key when you're carrying this kind of stuff around as your tech accessories are protected and also very easy to locate and find. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about the pack back, I kind of wish that coated canvas material that's on the front there, which is weather resistant, is kind of applied to the entire bag rather than just the front. To me, it doesn't really make sense to offer weather resistance on a front panel when the rest of the bag isn't really that waterproof. In conclusion guys, if you're looking for a travel backpack that's tech oriented to carry your laptop and accessories and your luggage with you, you definitely can't go wrong with the Incase EO Travel Backpack. Anyway, it's time to watch you guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video and as always, I have to thank Incase for shooting this up for view. Hit that like button as always helps me out and I'll see you all next video.